What's happening guys, it's Jeremy Blant with Remax Southern Shores. And today we're gonna to discuss 15 things that you can do indoors here in Myrtle Beach. These are things that my family loves to do and our locals love to go and enjoy in the Myrtle Beach area. And I know you're thinking right off the bat, but Jeremy, the reason we're moving to Myrtle Beach is we wanna enjoy the beautiful blue skies that are out there and the amazing weather that Myrtle Beach has to offer. But the reality is that sometimes during the summer, it can be beautiful blue skies one minute and the next minute, we have an intense thunderstorm that comes and just dumps buckets of rain for the next few hours. And well, when that happens, unfortunately, beach weather usually gets canceled and you need something else to do. Or during the winter, while we have very mild winters, there still are times where it could get a little bit of cold out and you're looking for something fun that you can do to entertain kids or do with family or friends that are in town. And these are some of our favorite things to do. So without further ado, let's get into this list. And the first thing on the list that I want to talk about are some of our nightly shows that take place here in the Myrtle Beach area. We have the Carolina Opry and Alabama Theater. These are two amazing first class shows that take place here in the Myrtle Beach area. I am somebody who plays music at our church and from time to time we get to have some of these professional musicians come and join us on our worship team and I have to say I am highly highly impressed by the skill levels that these people have and the talent that is here in Myrtle Beach. I would say that some of our shows will rival those of those that you may find in New York, Chicago, or other parts of the country. They're just awesome, awesome shows to definitely go and check out and great entertainment. Now, if you're someone who's a local who's looking to go to these shows, make sure that when you call to get a ticket or go online that you look to see if they offer some sort of locals discount because you can definitely save some money. And a lot of times, especially in the off season, they're willing to cater those type of people. The second thing on our list today is the Fun Plaza, which is located in downtown Myrtle Beach, right near where the old pavilion used to be. It is an awesome old school arcade that has games that you can still play for 25 cents. There's pinball machines and old mechanical baseball games that you can do right inside. It's right off of the boardwalk down in Myrtle Beach. And so if you're down on the beach and all of a sudden a storm rolls in, you can quick jaunt up into there, play some games for a little while till the rain goes away and then go back to enjoying your beach time. We love to take our kids down there from time to time and just cannibal roll of quarters and say, have a big time. The next thing on our list is Adventure Children's Museum. And it's a great place that our kids used to absolutely love. Unfortunately, now they're starting to get a little bit older. My youngest who's eight would probably still have a fun time there, but the older two that are almost to teenage years, well, they would find it probably boring. But we used to love to take our children here when they were younger because it was something that we could do as an activity to get outside the house and not be just on a screen time. They were able to go do things and use their creative side to build or create or design something inside the Children's Museum that would always be a ton of fun. It's usually not that expensive, so it's an awesome option for people to go get your kids outside the house and off a screen. The next one on our list is one that might surprise you, but the Sky Wheel down in Myrtle Beach. It's one of the largest Sky Wheels on the East Coast. And what you don't realize is that each and every one of the cars are actually climate controlled. So it could be 105 degrees outside and you can get in one of the cars and get to go get some of the most beautiful views of Myrtle Beach all up and down the coast while in some air conditioning. Definitely something you want to check out. And once again, they usually offer some sort of locals discount. So keep an eye out for those as well. On our list next is 810 Bowling, and they have several locations all up and down the Strip. They have some up on the northern end, one out in Conway, one down in Market Common, and they are great bowling alleys where it's more than just bowling. They usually have bowling, shuffleboard, billiards, maybe darts, um, and all kinds of other fun things to do. Some of the locations even have a crazy mason inside where you can get some of the most amazing and wildest milkshakes that you can think of on the Strand. The next one on the list is one that my kids absolutely enjoy, and that is Big Air Trampoline Park. They have more than just a trampoline where you go and jump up and down. They have giant foam pits where you can go jump and flip into it. You can ride down the zip line and drop into a foam pit. There's an obstacle course to be like you're on American Ninja Warrior, or maybe you have smaller children that wanna go play on the playground and have fun bouncing inside that as well. There's also dodgeball, basketball, and so many other fun activities in there. We used it recently for a birthday party for my oldest daughter, who's now 14, 
and her and her friends had so much fun being able to jump and just have a blast. The next one on our list is one for you adults out there and that's Duplin Winery, which is up near Barefoot Landing, right in front of the Alligator Adventure and House of Blues. It's a local winery here in Myrtle Beach where you can go, they have wine tastings and all types of other fun activities to do inside Duplin. So you definitely wanna check that one out, especially on the days when you can't go out and enjoy the weather, check out Duplin. Now, I mentioned about some of the nightly shows we have here. Well, I kept these other ones separate, but they're also a nightly show. And the reason I separated them from Carolina Opry and Alabama Theater is that they're more than that. They're dinner and a show. And that is Medieval Times and Pirate's Voyage. These are two of the most fun interactive shows that we have here in Myrtle Beach, where you also are going to get a meal included in your admission to the show. We took our daughter there for her second birthday and she became princess for the night at medieval times. And I have to say, it just made the night for her. We got to see beautiful horses, all type of night activities that took place and had a fairly decent meal, all for a good cost. So you wanna definitely want to take time to check these out. They're night shows that can happen. And so if you know the weather's not gonna be the greatest where you can go walk around Broadway at the beach or barefoot landing, this might be a better option for you. Next on our list is probably one of my wife's favorites, and that's the Franklin Burroughs Art Museum in downtown Myrtle Beach. This is an absolutely free museum where you can go through and check out some beautiful, amazing art exhibits. Usually they have different themes that are going on throughout the year, and a lot of times they bring in pieces that are done by local artists here in Orion, Georgetown County. The last time that we got to go visit the museum, they actually had on display children's artwork at the time and my kids found friends of theirs that had art pieces there at the museum and so it was a really cool connection to them that made them want to go and look at everything throughout and understand art and check things out it's a great thing now it's not huge it's not going to take you days to go through it it's something that probably about an hour to two maybe to go through the entire exhibit but it's definitely something you want to check out Next on our list is the Wax Museum, which sits across the street from Broadway at the beach at the old NASCAR Cafe. You know, it's funny, I mentioned the other day to a friend of mine, the NASCAR Cafe, and he, he's much younger than me, and he said, I don't even know what the heck that is, Jeremy. Uh, but it is a building that's across the street from Broadway at the beach that has now been turned into the Wax Museum for Myrtle Beach. They have sculptures and figurines of several celebrities from around the country and around the world that you can go and check out and see these, get your picture taken with them and have an all around fun time checking out some celebrities from around the world. This next one on our list is technically still an outside activity, but it's covered and it's okay to do even in the ugliest of weather. And that is Top Golf. I absolutely love going to Top Golf. It's so much fun to go hit balls, have some great food, time with friends, and just all around just hang out and relax with people and have a fun time. It doesn't matter whether you're a professional golfer or somebody who's never swung a club before in your life, you're gonna have a good time there because they have fun activities set up for the most avid golfer to be neutralized down to go with the person who's never swung and everyone's on an even playing field to get points and win at the different games. So definitely check out Top Golf. Next on our list is the Fun Warehouse down off of Highway 544. This is a place where if you want to put on some roller skates and go back to the days of, of old roller rinks, you can do this here at the Fun Plaza. If roller skating is not your thing, it's okay. They have so many other fun things to do. There's bounce houses for the kids, there's laser tag, there's even an arcade section that you can do and enjoy. And hey, if the weather gets better while you're there, you can go out on the outdoor go-kart track and ride some of the carts as well. My kids love to go and just bounce around, go play laser tag, and well, we've tried to learn roller skating, but it hasn't gone well. But they have all kinds of fun things that you can go check out down at Fun Warehouse. All right, guys, we're getting down to the end, and so I want to take a minute and kind of share some honorable mentions. These are things that there are multiple companies and multiple places to do here at the beach, and there are other activities that we like to do when, well, the weather's not the greatest outside. Those are things like going to the movie theater. I remember when we used to visit Myrtle Beach back in the day in the early 90s, there wasn't a lot of indoor activities and fun things to do. And so back then we would wait hours just to get to the movie theater because your only other option was to go to one of the shopping malls 
and walk around and well, that had zero appeal to me. But you can go check out movies. There's great theaters all up and down the strand. My suggestion would be go online and order your ticket ahead of time so you make sure you have seats reserved for your whole party and you know you're able to get to see what you really wanna see. Some other things that you can do is there's ax throwing that's up and down the beach, there's escape rooms, and hey, Guys, why not pamper your wife a little bit and take a spa day? If you know tomorrow the weather's gonna be miserable all day and you don't have other things planned, go ahead and start calling some of the local spas. See if you can get in for a massage or maybe a pedicure or a manicure, something like that's gonna make you a hero with your spouse quickly. And at the same time, gonna help you to be pampered a little bit yourself. Why not? All right, we're down to the final three things. And the next one is Wonderworks Upside Down House here in Myrtle Beach. It is a wild, crazy place where you can spend hours going through, checking out all the different parts. There's ropes courses. There's so many things to do inside Wonderworks that it's definitely something you wanna check out, especially if the weather is not the greatest outside. This next one is one that we just recently used ourselves. My brother came in town from Ohio, and while they were here over the holidays, we wanted to go do something fun as a family and have everybody go, my mother included. And well, the temperatures at that time were not the greatest outside. It wasn't rainy outside, but it was cold. It was very, very cold. And you know, they say that your blood thins when you're here in Myrtle Beach for a while. Well, it's really true, I feel. I didn't want to be out in 30 to 40 degree weather. So we took a trip over to Dave and Buster's. I was able to feed everyone a nice meal that they had there. We were able to play some billiards for a while. And then I gave everyone a $20 gift card to go play the video games. And we had a blast for hours playing games with our cousins and with our brothers and just having a fun time all around as a family. And the last thing on our list is probably one of my family's personal favorites. And that is Ripley's Aquarium. Well, I've talked about the aquarium a bunch in the past and well, we absolutely love it. We love going in and seeing all of the wildlife and the fish and the sharks and you can get so close to them. It's literally like you can reach up and touch the sharks, it seems, but it's a lot of fun. They also have the new penguin exhibit that just recently opened in the last few years. Uh, there's jellyfish and all kinds of other amazing things to do throughout there. You can go up to where Ray Bay is and reach in and touch the rays as they swim by. You can see mermaids and so many other fun activities to do. Now, if you're somebody who's a local, and I've mentioned this in the past, make sure you ask for those local discounts and also pay attention to when they have season pass time. You can go get a season pass special for half price sometimes, and then it gives you a full year of access into the aquarium to go and enjoy everything that you can think of. We love it because we can go anytime it's ugly weather, we get to go enjoy it. If we have a couple hours at night, go do it then. If we wake up in the morning and wanna do it, we can hit it first thing. But the aquarium is definitely something you wanna check out as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's list of 15 things that you can do indoors in Myrtle Beach from a local. If you did, do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, get that bell on so you subscribe and know when we're gonna have the next video out. And as always guys, if you're thinking about moving to the area, all my contact information is down below. Feel free to reach out to me. Let me know how I can help you and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.